<laughs> Wait, is this live? Yeah. Oh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, live from T Briz Studios, it's the Adult Baby Show. Yeah. Hey. What's up, Dad? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Adult Baby Show. We are your hosts, I'm T Briz. I'm B. And I'm Chick. We got a special guest today. Oh, well, we're excited. A very special <laughs> guest. <laughs> What's up? What's up? It's Lou Vecchio from Lou New Vecchio. Politics. Yeah, so Lou, go ahead. Today. Should I? Uh, I introduced him. Should he have introduced himself? No, no, no. I, I like that you introduced me. Did I steal? Yeah. Did I steal your thunder? No, no. I didn't. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did good. I, I think it's better to get it introduced than introduce yourself. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like you know when you if you go somewhere and you meet somebody. Don't you want to be introduced to them? You shouldn't have to introduce yourself. I, you know, like if I bring you somewhere, mm-hmm. I should introduce you. All right. I know what you mean sometimes you stand around awkwardly <laughs> waiting to be introduced. Yeah, yes. exactly. Like standing like, hey, oh, hey, how you doing, Tom? Oh, I'm great, Jim. How's it been? How's it been? And then there's t- there's Briz just standing there like, <laughs> are you going to introduce me to, yeah. to right. Jim? <laughs> and then, yeah, or and then, or then, am I just going to introduce myself? Yeah, and then what do you do at that point? Like, do you, your hands are in your pockets? Do you go to handshake? Like, what? You, it's a weird, it's always a weird situation. It's always, it's, it's never I want to bring back a, I'm never comfortable. You anyway. kick the ground and you stare at your feet <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with your hands in your pockets. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah exactly. Just bring back the double kiss on each side of the face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, we got a, a special guest. This is our 27th episode. Woo! All right. And yeah, episode guys. 27. Lou Vecchio is the drummer for New Politics. Yes. It's... Uh, what do we what do we say about that? What else is there to say? The drummer, the songwriter. What the else drummer. do you do with in new politics? Uh, are you the, are you the drummer? Or are you like the drums, songwriting, um, song? I mean, I dabble in songwriting with them. Uh, drum. I write all my drum stuff. I'm professional hanger outer. You know, is nice. <laughs> is that's like, what I'm pretty good at. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what you do here. You looking for a partner? <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, Lou was uh, nice enough to bring us some champagne. Yeah. Yes. Because, it's uh, delicious. Yeah. He it's says he's a, he's a fan of the Prosecco. show. What is it? Prosecco. Prosecco. Is that the brand or is that, what is that? Champ- Cupcake. Put it Cup- on the Cupcakes camera the for YouTube. This is like a plug for Cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> Cupcake. Does it there taste like go. Cupcakes? Sponsors. <laughs> yes, it's delicious. It tastes just like Cupcakes. It's good. I'm not drinking any, by the way. No, I know. Good for you, Taylor. No, yeah, I, we're going to indulge this episode. You guys can get shit-faced if you want. You guys <laughs> get shit-faced drunk. I'll, uh, you know. Hammer I'll, drunk. <laughs> go ahead. I got my vitamin C tea. What is it called? Emergency? Emergency. Emergency. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. Oh, wait, you're literally, that's I thought enjoyable. you were just drinking tea. I didn't know it was the emergency. It's stuff emergency. I'm not sick, but, you know, I just like the taste of it. So, so. you sprinkle the, the, the emergency inside of the tea is what you do. It's, yeah. That's actually a great idea. It's a magical mixture. Yeah. It's a potion. <laughs> yeah. It's like a potion. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, B was asking before about drinking at shows. Yes. Uh, I've been, people know, when we think of rock stars, I know, I think of... Sex, drugs, rock and roll, Woo! drink, drinking, mm-hmm. partying, craziness. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the drinking, no. What is that? What do you guys do on the road? Is there heavy drinking or? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it goes up and down because it's. T- <laughs> Do you hear him breathing into the fucking mic? <laughs> Luke finally gets to see first man about the breathing. I am so glad you looked at him. <laughs> oh, dude, that's amazing. Because every single person is like, I don't even hear him breathing. I don't know why you guys make a su- such a big deal about it. No, We're five minutes in, and you're like, oh, there it is. Keep the mic down when you're talking. Don't worry. No, dude, I don't know if that comes in on the other end of the podcast when it people might listen not. when no, it goes can, on, on yeah. iTunes, but it's, I hear, in here you can I hear it. I started laughing. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, it's uh, true. He really does breathe yeah. heavy. <laughs> no, I mean the the drinking and stuff. You know, obviously is uh yeah, fucking. There's a lot of alcohol, you know. But um, it's the kind of thing where it starts off. You know, you you we hit the band. We have a couple of shots. They'll get loose on stage. You know, before we go on stage. Mm. And then next thing you know, you're like bringing a bottle of wine to the stage. You know, or like you know, yeah. it just it just escalates like as the tour goes on. Nice. Um. But you know, it's it, we, we're relatively like a pretty tamed band. There are a lot of bands out there that still like try to live like the you know Motley Crue yeah. lifestyle, yeah. and it's just, it doesn't exist. Like, you, you, and people know now that you're gonna die if you do heroin or you do right. drugs. And so people really, for the most part, aren't really like partying like that when it comes to like rock star status. Yeah, things. that makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, definitely get loose. Oh, so yeah. like, behi- like before the show, you'll uh, you'll yeah. have a couple shots, couple shots like- and then during the show, 
It, yeah, like I'll have you know I'll have a I'll have a cup. I have a, this is really funny. In my within my kit, my setup on stage has a little cup holder, and it's made for like a bottle of water. But it, there's yeah. always a, there's yeah, always there's always never any water in no. there. <laughs> That's amazing. What's this for? It's for when I need to rehydrate. <laughs> yeah, on alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long is a typical set? Uh, our headline show is we'll do like an hour, an hour and a half, probably an hour and a half mostly. But if we're doing like a lot of the festival stuff that we do, it can go from half an hour to 45 minutes, mm. you know? It's a lot. The, the headline runs are, it's, you know, it's, it sounds, people are like, oh, you're, you know, you're a rock star, you're on stage. But it's a lot, man. Five oh, nights, six that. nights a week, course, hour yeah. and a half, you know, every, you know. Plus, then we do with our fans, because our fan base is on the younger side, we do meet and greets after every show. So, you know, there's like, however, you know, 150 oh cap, 200 cap meet and greets. <laughs> so we're like, we're hanging out 45 minutes, an hour and a half after the set, like, you know, oh. shaking hands and signing autographs. That's got to be a lot of fun, meet and greets. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Very yeah. interesting to say the yeah. least. That right? sounds yeah. exhausting. It, it's, after it's, a show, it's, you, now you have to talk to people? Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I would never make it. I would never make it. I wouldn't. I would, get, I, I would get. I would. That would. That would kill he me. He would lose his whole fan base. Yeah. <laughs> like halfway through the tour, just have a mental breakdown. Like, wasn't uh -huh. it good enough watching me play the drums? <laughs> yeah. You want to talk to me too? <laughs> like, you coddle the whole audience. Yeah. What's the best place you ever played? Oh man, we like played. like the coolest place. So you're like, oh shit, I'm playing. Uh... We the when um like at the during the peak of. Uh, our single Harlem when that really hit mm. the alternative charts we were on tour with uh, Panic at the Disco Ooh. in Europe like we did a whole like London Ireland it was really awesome That's it was awesome. the first time I've ever been to Europe so that was awesome but then that tour ended and we were supposed to go home for Thanksgiving and we got a call from management being like no you guys are going to Russia <laughs> what <laughs> yeah. That's great. so we flew from London to Russia and we never ever experienced any sort of like, um, you know, like people waiting in the airport mm. with like signs and mm -hmm. stuff. We 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 get we like landed in Russia thinking, what the like I'm thinking Rocky. You know, yeah, like, yeah. You know, that's like, what I'm thinking. Yeah, you show out exactly. in the snow yeah, in the exactly. tundra, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Russian yeah. tundra. Yeah. I'm like he's there. You know, the whole I'm waiting for the whole like workout montage to yep. happen and shit. So, <laughs> on the drums, yeah, yeah, yeah. montage. We land and there's all these fans and they're like. In fucking Russia, like Russian That's science and shit, and we're like, they, I look behind us, and like, there's got to be someone. Like Chris Angel has to be yeah, behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone, uh, and uh, and it, it, they were for us, and then we we played these um these two like small, like maybe thousand cap club right. club rooms, one in St. Petersburg and the other in Moscow, nice. and they were sold out. It was it That's was insane. Awesome. It was crazy, and they uh, they all they heard they own the record was not released there. They all found out about it via YouTube and all that stuff. So it was like, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was it That's was incredible. Wild. I was, was just going to cool. say, do most of your international fans come from, like, YouTube and things? Or is it, like, you guys are sold? I mean, I don't know how it works now where there's no CDs and stuff. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's you. So you get, when you get signed, you get a record deal here in the United States. And they distribute usually only to the United States. You, you need another deal in like a European deal or like an overseas deal from either another record label or the division of the label that you're with. Like, so they'll push it out there. Um, we really never released anything in overseas. It's just, it's all from the internet and all from, mm -hmm. um, you know, Harlem, I think, was on the charts over in Europe for a little while. And it's really weird because they only have one chart for all music like you could like Harlem and then like Drake would be right next to <laughs> really? and like you're competing with all of these right. like you know well, they like Drake in Russia too yeah. then, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 I love Drake <laughs> <laughs> new politics yeah. so yeah that was that was a really cool experience that was oh, great. that's awesome yeah cool are you guys still big over there now it's because this Harlem was uh, a couple years ago yeah, wasn't it was, a while. was it, it was like West three... before West End Kids yeah that yeah. was the first single uh, Harlem was the first single that like kind of put us on the map Right. Um, we haven't been back since, which is upsetting. You know, we just haven't been back to Russia. We get so many messages like, come back, come back. And it's like, fucking plane is like $3,000 to fly. Yeah. Out there. Oh, and is it's that just, the problem? Yeah. It's just, you know, it's, we, you have to, I hate to say so, like, you know, bottom, but you just have to make it worth your while, you know, for us to, we would love to go and just yeah. hang out in Russia. But, 
to You're get saying the fans aren't worth your while, yeah. Lou. I get it. <laughs> well, <laughs> just so you know, we are worldwide as well. Yeah. I know you guys are, but we do get a lot yeah. of views. Yeah, and we have a lot of fans in Russia from as well. all over the world. So this hopefully will help that too. Maybe we'll get you in. Uh, I don't know where, have, where haven't you been yet that you'd like to perform? Is there any? <laughs> see if we can help you out. <laughs> I just think he's putting on his interview hat right now. <laughs> he's basically it. saying this show is going to open so many <laughs> international <laughs> doors for you right now. What, you what doors can we open for you? Wait, <laughs> what do you think of Paraguay? <laughs> what do you think of Paraguay? Because we got a couple listens from Paraguay last week, according yeah. to Chick. <laughs> now you hey, guys can no, play there. It. Now we're going. Yeah, yeah that's we got two listeners. Maybe one of them has a hookup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to hook, give uh, your booking agent Chick yeah. Lowe's number. I'll you guys take care of everything out, for you guys. Perfect. I'm looking for work, so I'm freelancing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Uh, we're going to Paraguay. <laughs> oh, that's nice cool. this time of year. You know, yeah, I always is. thought that the, the song "Yeah" was your guys' first break. It's because "Yeah" came out, and then Harlem, and, yeah, and then. Well, the first "Yeah, Yeah, Yeah" was on the first record that I I wasn't a part of the band yet at that point. Oh, so I came in after that. They had another uh, another Danish drummer from Denmark. Basically, the whole story is really in a, in a nutshell. David and Soren are songwriters from Denmark. They've been doing that their whole life. David is also, this is so crazy, he's a fucking break dancer. And that's really? like, like a legit like yeah, dancer. I've, I've watched uh, your guys' YouTube videos, and that's kind of, I, I get the impression he does it every show, the thing where he stands on his head, yeah. and he like <laughs> does like a, he does break dance He's moves. insane, yeah. But, he's yeah. A, before he do, did music full time, he was like a, um, like a dancer, like, like ballet, like in I guess like theater in yeah, nice. in Denmark and like would perform for like the royal. <laughs> really, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, Holy yeah. Shit. Oh, it was God. crazy. He showed me, and I didn't know this until like, you know, I'm in the band now for like almost eight years. I didn't know this until like two years ago. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. What the hell are you doing here in a band? Like, you can go wow. put some tights on and dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they they won a contest over in Denmark, and the contest was to get the chance to get a, you know, a record deal in the United States. They, neither of them, when they played this show in front of these people, Soren, it was the first time he ever stood up playing a guitar. They're, they're just like songwriter, like studio guys. That's awesome. Really? So yeah, they won That's the contest, crazy. they came over. Wow. And that was, and then that started the, um, you know, the whole thing. And this is, this is before you were in, obviously. How'd you get yeah. hooked up with those guys? Cause that's not like. Yeah, it was, I, they were completely, it would have never happened like right. that. Right. They, um, they started working for a management. They got hot, like they hired a management company mm -hmm. that I was doing like gigging out with. Like they were just getting me, you know, separate gigs because before, before I joined New Politics, I was working with a lot of like solo artists. You know, a lot of Disney stuff I was doing like just as a hired gun, right. which still working at Chili's at the same time. You know, just like, oh really? Like, yeah, it was. Which was uh, that's actually a good story to tell. We were, we were asking about like a Chili stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna write that down so we yeah. can circle back to it. Unless you just want to go into it, it now. It, I mean. Let me, yeah, I'll wrap this up really quick and then we'll go back to Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about fucking I love Chili's. President, you know, <laughs> Presidente <laughs> Margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then, so I was gigging out with all these artists and um, they, a buddy of mine, I was on the Justin Bieber, I was opening up for Justin Bieber's My World Tour with this artist. The Bees! Woo, JB! Woo! And, uh, that's pretty big itself, and, you're, and then you're going home to work at Chili's. Yeah, that was gonna be. That's my story. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked you. You just pulled a fucking chick, dude. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't have to do that. Oh god, it's something about this area of the of the uh, studio. Usually I'm sitting over there, so maybe this area is just energy where you jump Thumbs on you people's up. stories. What are you gonna do next? Breathe into the mic and start interrupting everybody? <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh. No, no. So that we I, uh, I met someone. <laughs> I met my buddy Mikey, who I'm still really good friends with, who's a videographer. He happened to be uh, filming all this the, with the artists that I was playing with on the tour, and we became really good friends. And uh, you know, as anything, you, when you're networking and trying, you know, you always part ways and being like, if you hear of anything, let me know. Right. And uh, he called me in a month and was like, do you want to? join a band with two Danish guys and I was like yeah alright cool 
And I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you even ask any questions? Like, wait, no, what? I didn't. Ask, I think I asked like what, you, like I didn't even know what Den, Danic, you know, Denmark yeah. was. They're Danish. Oh, they're from Daneland. Dan- yeah. 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 And you know what else? I, I love Danishes. I had one for breakfast. <laughs> that's, so that's right. I was like, yeah, cheese Danish. Is that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sound delicious. Sounds great. Uh, yeah, and then I went down and I tried out. I sent in um, two videos of me playing in my basement. One of the videos was yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one is uh, juvenile back that ass up. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I said oh that. In, but, like, and they loved it. And because it's it a great song. Yeah. It's yeah. a timeless classic. Yeah, it is a timeless classic. <laughs> if you feel it good, daddy, would you back <laughs> that, that ass up? You're a fine motherfucker. Wow. Would you back, back that, that ass up? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that song Juvenile. In a what a great guy, man. Yeah. That was a good album. What a good guy. Yeah. You ever notice? <laughs> 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 you ever notice that that entire song he rhymes the same word at the end of every you know what coincidentally holy shit i just realized you played the drums to the song yeah and then you play juvenile where at the end of every line he's like and he be in your mean yeah what you mean yeah, yeah. going with your string yeah, yeah. Rocky yeah. and he holy says shit. yeah at the yeah. end of every that. fucking yeah. sentence yeah. see oh, yeah. that connection now like, yeah, you didn't it. do that, that on it. purpose no it wasn't but we were sending meant- subliminal messages yeah. to the danish guys like look how clever i am guys yes. yeah. I look how <laughs> clever i am <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Let me join up. Yeah. So then they were like, "Yeah, okay, you're good." So you're you blew it out of the water. I I'm went. They, they loved it, and uh, I got. A, you know, they called me and they were like, "Yeah, you want the gig?" In the first tour, the the first rehearsal I did with them, they got into a massive fight. Oh my god! In, in Danish, like yelling at each other in Danish, <laughs> and I'm sitting there in the, in the fucking like behind the, behind the drum kit, just like with a smile on my face, just like watching it. And uh, you know, and they and they loved. Yeah, and that was it. And then we ended up the first tour we did. Um, was a support tour with Neon Trees, mm. and uh, uh, that was the first tour we did. And then the second tour we did was a support tour with the band called Dirty Heads. Oh, I know the Dirty Heads. Yeah. They were, uh, they do like a reggae-ish, not yeah. reggae-ish, but they tour with uh, what's that other band? Uh, like, like Sublime with Rome type Sublime, bands, Pepper, uh, Pepper, like, Pepper, Pepper. That's yeah. a band I was thinking of. Yeah, um, they're really, really great friends of ours. Slightly they, stupid. Yeah, slightly yeah. stupid. Um, we ended up on tour with them, and at this point, I was still a hired gun with New Politics. They were paying me. I you like know. how you refer to yourself as a hired gun. <laughs> hired gun, yeah, yeah. yeah. badass. <laughs> I was getting paid to play drums, and you know it was cool. I was making money, and and somewhere I, I was having a pool game, playing pool with David, the singer, and he was like, "Do you want to join the band?" And I was like, "I'm. What do you mean, join the band? I, I'm in. You know." And he's like, "No, no, no. Like, do you, we're gonna." three ways everything and i was like holy shit that's awesome yeah so i did it and then that was the last tour that i made money with them like on the, you know on a weekly basis <laughs> i came home from the tour i was so excited i'm like getting you know payments a month like you know paying awesome. my rent and shit mm-hmm. two months of that the band goes broke we have no oh. fucking money <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. and i'm living i just moved to brooklyn i'm like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> I'm cool. you know I'm, i just met my my now fiance and we're like hanging out and everything and i'm like I, I'll never forget. It. I get an email from our business accountant, and he's like, "Hey, man, you know, hey Lou, uh, just to let you know, this last three hundred and fifty dollars that I'm t- transferring into your account will be it until the record is done, and we, the record is like hasn't even started be happening yet." So I was <laughs> oh, like, no. "Great, Jesus. cool." So, you know, I, it was wild. It was it was a wild ride, and this is before Harlem. So <sighs> during that pro during that time is when. The real the record was written that basically saved our saved the band saved yeah yours. saved the band right so now what do you do you get your last three hundred fifty bucks you go out is this where Chili's comes into play no <laughs> <laughs> is this a, no in, I graduated past Chili's <laughs> at this point a little bit all right this is post Chili's this is post Chili's going going do, should I go back to Chili's or I feel like I'm we're gonna go back to Chili's oh, okay yeah, we'll get that do we need right. to, I think we need unless to. I there, ruined it all no 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 I mean I, uh, so basically sorry. the band started paying you then they went broke right yeah <laughs> we went broke that's that, crazy. Crazy. Real quick, we're going three ways now. Did the other guys move back to Denmark at that point, or no, are they so in America? Do they live in here? They're living. They were here. They right. had a they had a railroad apartment in deeper Bushwick than <laughs> where I live. Oh, oh, so it was rough, and they were the whole. This is this studio was in the house. So they, they were shared an apartment. Everything. The two yeah, of them, like three bu- of them, in a railroad bunk beds? apartment. 
Not bunk beds. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like bunk beds, but a railroad apartment. But you just, what does that like, mean, a railroad apartment? So, like, there's one bedroom in the front, and then there's another bedroom next to it, and then there's another kitchen. It's all connected. Oh, like, you can't, from front to back. Yeah, it's yeah. every room. Go through one room to get like, to Like, if you yeah. got to take a shit and it's all the way in the back, you have to walk like, through everyone's choo, room. Choo, coming through. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Coming through your bedroom. Right. Right, turn it off. Turn off the pornos. I'm coming through. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was nuts. Doing anything embarrassing, hide it now. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, they, I, what I did at that point is shit my pants a little bit. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was like, "What? The, what am I gonna do?" Do I reach go back? back out to Chili's? Reach back out to yeah. Chili's? And say, is there like a managerial <laughs> position open, man, or something? Move um, up to Fridays. You never know. Yeah, you connections know. in the music world. You got your connections in the chain restaurant yeah. world. <laughs> Time to network over there again. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 and this never happens. It's so weird that it happened like this. I, David and Soren were really cool and they were like, look man, there's no money. We understand you need to work. If you if it's if you can get another gig, you know, for in the meantime, go and do it. Just like do it under the radar. So I sent out usually when you're trying to get gigs, it's like people don't respond. It's like yeah. you, you know, it's a oh, takes months imagine. and it's, hard. it's a pain in the ass. I sent out one email and I got a response that day and it was for an audition for this uh, rap artist named Kanon. Hmm. And I played I went to this audition thinking like I'm, it's like all gospel dudes, like nasty drummers, nasty musicians, and I, I go to this audition thinking it's not going to work, and I get hired for the gig. Ooh, they wanted the tattooed white boy. They wanted the tattooed yeah. white boy, <laughs> and it, honestly, dude, it was one of the best experiences of my life because the musicians were like, taught. I mean, it was just learned so much. But the funny thing is, is I I, I get hired, and uh, we figure out everything, and it's great. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm going to be all right. Then there, I tell them. My, manage, my management with the band doesn't want anything, like no TV. And if there is TV, I have to be off, you know, because I'm in this other band. They're like, no worries, no worries. I don't even think there's any TV booked. The first fucking gig is David Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> the first yeah. fucking gig is David Letterman. And, and then I'm like, all right, just don't make sure, you know, I tell the camera, yeah. you know, the first shot is like of me. Like the Are you first serious? opening shot is on, on Letterman. On fucking David Letterman. I remember that actually. Because yeah. then it was just shared all over Facebook yeah. or something. And they're like, yeah, Lou was on for Letterman. And I was like, yeah, oh, fucking my God. Awesome. I do remember that. Yeah. I love Letterman yeah. too. I was always Team Letterman over Leno. Oh, hell yeah. yeah totally. Man. Yeah. yeah. I like Definitely. me too. Love them. Are we all in agreement over yeah. there? Yeah. yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's, look at that. Totally. I think I'm that's the first totally. time we've all agreed. I something. know. Probably the last, too. Could Probably. Be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that was that. And, you know, and I got a lot of shit for it. But I ended up doing that with K on for like a year. What they do, stop paying you? <laughs> oh, wait. <Yeah. laughs> right, I was like, what, what do you want me to do? Man? But uh, yeah, and then it all worked out. And, you know, every when I would come home from with K on, I would work with the, the guys in the studio, record shit. And they would send me the demos when, on the road with K on. And, uh, you know, and then all of a sudden we had this great, you know, single that was there and everything was based around Harlem. And uh, we went to radio and it was just, a, you know, from that point, it's like it, it just I, it felt we were on the road for three and a half years, <laughs> non fucking stop. And wow. and we didn't even realize what was happening. We were just playing shows. Yeah. We, we were just noticing that the rooms were getting, getting filler. filler, you know, bigger, bigger. And stuff like that. I mean, we were still in a van and trailer. We didn't even move to a bus yet or anything like that so we were you guys do some big shows though. i mean there's tons of people i can only imagine what it's like to perform in front of that it's fun man it's it's, ner it's ner as a headline run it's nerve-wracking as shit because there's so much more that goes into it and mm -hmm. i mean you you like stand up it's yeah like, the other know? night i played for seven people and <laughs> 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 yeah it was nerve-wracking <laughs> but dude but yeah, you no, mean, I, I know yeah. the, the six other comedians that <laughs> yeah. were at the yeah. open mic with six you? other comedians at an open mic <laughs> <laughs> that have all heard my jokes for the last two years. <laughs> no, but I know what you're saying. Like, like those. I, I, I don't know what you're saying. Like, I, but I. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you you're, imagine you're on you're, you're on a much bigger level. But, right. but yeah. But the, the, it's funny because the the more intimate shows that you that we play, like we for example, we just did like a surprise acoustic show in the city last weekend. That is so much more nerve wracking uh, than yeah. stepping out on to you know like a, mm -hmm. a bigger stage where you can't really make con eye contact i can't imagine dude walking out on stage by myself and trying yeah. to make people laugh that's well <laughs> it's, i i joke about like but seven people is definitely more scary than like a hundred yeah like yeah. you know that 
I, uh, that's where I can sometimes I get a hundred or a couple hundred, right? But not to see me. Yeah, but like just for you. That's <laughs> yeah. 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 He gets but it. like the when it's when it's small, then it's so much scary. Yeah. <laughs> so you're every, I'm, you just everyone's you mm-hmm. know everyone's like zoned in, you know. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, man, I don't know. This the, it's it's been great. The ride's been great. You that's know, awesome. And, yeah. One, can I ask quite like you you guys went broke, but is that from like? <laughs> Like spending money on touring and stuff, like yeah. So, basic. I didn't. I didn't really know the inner workings of the business when I joined the band. It took a while for me to really wrap my head around yeah. how it all works and stuff. Um, but they basically, when they came to the states, they signed a a big record deal, which gives you a big advance, which doesn't exist anymore. They were one of the lucky. We were one of the lucky bands that still got that, and. Um, that money just like basically dissipate, you know, with with touring and yeah. recording budgets, and it's shit's expensive. It's just oh, so yeah. expensive, and before you know it, it's well, there it goes, you know. Yeah, and that's that's basically what happened with the with the money. But you know, it's 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 all relative to you know, you're only as good as your in today's music, you're only as good as your single. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not really about albums anymore, which kind of which I think sucks. Yeah. Cause Coming from the world we come I from, agree with you, on you know, that. It's, it sucks. it's all about singles. So everyone's so focused on like, oh, you need this, you need this single, you need this hit, you need this hit, and that puts so much pressure on an on on an artist. Like, you know, you write fifty songs and all of them get denied from, the, <laughs> from except the, for one, except for one, you know, Jeez. and then you have to write a record based around that vibe. So right. it's 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 rough. All of them get denied from who? Is there somebody you have to run this by? Then they approve of it, or is it? Yeah, or you yeah. put it out and you put it up, and if it doesn't get a certain amount of views or hits, then you're gonna say on to the next one. I mean, that's or does it not even make it up to the YouTube to the whatever the channel is? Yeah, that you're uploading, but it has to go through somebody's ears first. It depends on what you're on, like on this on everyone's situation. I'm sure it's different. Right. But our the way we run things is we you know we write these ideas, we have these demos. It goes to management. They approve. They don't approve, but like they'll say, these like five songs are, are cool. Mm. Like work with this, and then from there we'll go to the label, and then the label is really who has the end all because they're going to put the money up to promote and you know push the record. Right. And that's at the end of the day, that's what we need. But you do have artists out there now because of Spotify and because of technology. You you know you got twelve year old kids writing hit songs in their basement and putting it out on SoundCloud, yeah, right. and it has more followers than you know like oh my god yeah, yeah it's an, it's wild so it's it's crazy Isn't it's that how Bieber oh I'm sorry well, you can go first Isn't Isn't that it? how Bieber got caught like on a YouTube sensation <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. just throwing that out there you know what? Because, oh sorry you go first Isn't that how Bieber <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, he's actually right because I saw like that a documentary about him and he was just uh, I think he was like playing drum he was a drummer yeah right? yeah on you he was like a YouTube star yeah. that's what I, yeah he was yeah. a YouTube star mm-hmm. did Which you guys is- know that Chick was a drummer at one point yes <laughs> hell yeah Chick. oh I was yeah <laughs> in, mid- in in elementary school they asked everybody to if you wanted to join band or chorus and I picked band what do you want to be? A fucking drummer. <laughs> That's right. Lost one <laughs> of my drums. Lou, you're not the only drummer yeah, in the room. Yeah. We got I another one, right? Exactly. If you guys it, need yeah. somebody on there, but I lost a drumstick. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> I'm really looking for work, really guys. Looking for a job. I'm just looking. This is more of an, I'm trying to interview myself for your, for your band. <laughs> Dude, you'd be in. a backup. You're yeah. in. You're in. I think <laughs> you'd fit in. Yeah. I'll be a groupie at this point. I don't got much going on. <laughs> groupie. <laughs> you got the man titties for it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'll just flash my tits in the front row. So, you're Glass is fucking Yeah, up it's a little hot. I'm sweating right now. I wasn't. I was hoping you were. Nobody was gonna notice. Yeah, that. I can't help but know. Well, you always yell at me about my pit stains. Yeah, and now like, no, I'm fogged up. Right now. I'm fogged up. So, Chick, but, what happened with your drum career? So, yeah. I lost one of my drumsticks about midway through the uh, semester, <laughs> and I went semester of what? It was like I don't know. It was mid, halfway through the year. Like, halfway through the tour. Of what grade? Of uh, what? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. <laughs> okay. And fourth grade. Um, I went to my 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 session where you miss a period and you go and you practice your drums and I was like listen I only got one drumstick and he's like well you can't do anything with one drumstick which I disagree but I wound up quitting and then instead of going back to class I hung out the whole day in the bathroom until I went back until I had the bell rang and I had to go back to a, a class I didn't want to tell them that I quit Lou what's your take Jeez. on that what, can, you, can you play with one drumstick oh yeah you can make you can make shit work with, <laughs> make shit work with one yeah. drumstick Def Leppard man guys one yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh my god <laughs> he had that foot special foot pedal yeah, that he used yeah. to play like, he he lot, play yeah. I don't know how 
good my footwork is, though. <laughs> <laughs> With your little socks. Yeah. I, 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 we know how good it is. It's, yeah. it's not good. No, it's, it's not. It's awful. It's really not good. It's not. That's well, funny. No, you could have had a career. I did. But you I lost my calling. Well, uh, we put it out there, so uh, I don't know if, uh, if uh, Lou, if you guys need an extra drummer, a backup chick, our boy here, I'm chick. Here. I He's can do here. whatever you guys need. I'm here. No problem. I'm taking notes. I got yeah. it. Merch we go, man, we have him on I can discount. do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We get him on a discount. He works for Chili's. He'll work for Chili's <laughs> meals. Just pay him in... in uh, <laughs> I don't know how we'd replace him over here. Pay him in triple dippers. That'll be a, a real blow to the show. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be shamed to lose them but no you'd be good you'd tell you don't even have to too. be adult babies anymore you'd yeah. have to be something else because i'm really the biggest baby on the show <laughs> yeah you are You're so good, <laughs> so what happened with the chili stuff now you used to i guess this is going back uh and earlier in your drumming career, when yeah, yeah, I think a lot of people do it. That try to people that try to be actors or musicians or whatever they do the comics because you have that <laughs> comics. Well, you don't do. You're not in the restaurant industry, right? No, the restaurant industry is big for people. But it's a lot a of flexible people schedules. Yeah. You work nights. You have to, time during the days to do auditions and shit like that. Right, right. And it's cash. You yep. just get cash at the mm-hmm. end of the night. But uh, you had a Chili's story, I think, for us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whole, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I, no, no, B. it's, it's, it's we, uh, we B, can go I'm somewhere. I'm very embarrassed. Don't be, it's awesome. I man. feel like B is embarrassed realizing that this is somebody who made it and no, he's no. still trying. Oh, oh shut up. Up. <laughs> Wow. No. no. I know. I started my career when I was 30. Yeah, this is true. This is I, true. I mean, You're you behind the eight ball. Life. Whatever. <laughs> you know, you, you don't even have a job. How dare you? How dare you? I do have At one. At least I'm trying I have something. one job. I Jackass. got one job. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Chick, drink some more of that yeah, champagne. I, I think he's getting drunk. <laughs> I, think he's getting like, this, we, I think we need Thanks, to get Lil. him drunk on every episode Again, now. Please. Champagne, yeah. We need to get that that brand, this brand. He likes it. He's I do like it. it. I don't really it's like delicious. champagne. And Chick I like doesn't this. drink. It's good. It goes down smooth, it right? Does. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It's good. The only thing is I'm worried about him becoming an alcoholic. Yeah, I got, a, I, got a, I got an addicting personality. Well, You're, I'll hang out with you more. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cheers. He's always like, why don't you hang out? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> why don't you have a drink with me? Cheers, man. Cheers. I need a roof uh, actually. Oh, fill it up. up. All right. You guys get me hungry with all this Chili's talk. Yeah, so, all right, so back to Chili's. I here, just, here we are. I had yeah. a, a girlfriend that uh, worked at Chili's Yeah. back in the day. Oh, I remember mm. her. And she'd be like, "Oh, do you want anything from Chili's?" And I'd, I'd be, give her like forty dollars worth of shit. Like, give me like a triple dipper, a quesadilla, <laughs> burger. She's like, "What the fuck?" She's like, "I'm like, you work at Chili's, don't you just get it for free and bring it home?" <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I think, like an idiot. I was a big fan of the quesadilla explosion salad. Ooh, mm. it was delicious. That sounds. I always delicious. thought the name of that was, yeah, like kind of scary. scary. Like, and it just it's reminiscent of. Diarrhea. Yeah, it definitely you know, is. Like, and it, and, and, I mean, it was the good, explosion. Yeah, it's the most yeah, unhealthy yeah. salad. <laughs> it's an unhealthy salad, but it was delicious. I was like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm eating salad. Yeah. Yeah. Southwestern egg rolls and uh, queso sauce is my uh, oh, the man. queso dip. Is the queso best. is the shit. Yeah. <laughs> man, you guys are making me want chilies now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we going to chilies after this? Uh, are we going yeah. to chilies? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so the ch- chili story. <laughs> All right, back to that. I worked there at Chili's for a long time, and I was trying to in between gigs and stuff like that. And uh, I actually played when I was doing the Bieber tour. I played Madison Square Garden first time I ever any like the whole tour was an arena tour. Yeah. And the first time we I ever wow. played it, you know, MSG was on this tour, and got off stage, had the best night. Fucking Will Smith and like Snoop Dogg are hanging out backstage, oh, and it was excellent. nuts. And I get on a train to go back, and I wake up in the morning, and I'm serving tables at Chili's. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. No, I, I shit you not. And I'm there on a double, and I'm hating my life. Like, I'm just like, because you can't, it's the kind of thing where, like, you can't walk into work and be like, dude, I played Madison yeah. Square Garden. You know, you, I, you, you can't. can't do that, no, you know? Yeah. Right. Um, so chick would. I feel like I probably would. would. Yeah. <laughs> chick, chick definitely would. Like, that's definitely, only, yeah. wouldn't even work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show Fuck up. you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I was a Snoop Dogg. You know, I was at the, you know, the Beebs. <laughs> my what do you best want? friends. You want fries with that? <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, it was a it was a mind fuck. And then you know, I, I'm on a double, and then this I I'm, I get sat this like group, and I rec- it's like a group of eight, what look like eight young girls, seven young girls. I go over to the table. 
And the one girl's looking at me, and she fucking recognizes me from the show, from the night before. Are you before. serious? Oh, yeah, shit. she's like, Warren, didn't you play drums with Vita? The girl's name is Vita that I was playing with. And I, my, I, everything in my body just, like, oh. felt. <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah, that, that, that was, was me. me. <laughs> that was me. And, uh, you know, I, I'm like, there's a, there's a photo out there somewhere with me and these girls in my full Chili's fucking, like, apron and everything. Like, they, I took a photo. But for me, it was... It was really flattering, so but it jealous. was very, it, it was upsetting at the same time. I'm yeah. like, I'm fucking here. Like I'm <laughs> here and it was just such a like up and down. And then I just went home and played Guitar Hero and smoked weed for like 10 hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. That sounds about right. Yeah. That's what I would do. You know what? I don't feel bad anymore because that was way better. I, I didn't step over anything. That was... A- an incredible story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think the chances are that they're they're going to listen to this podcast? <laughs> hey, oh, maybe, I hope they do. Maybe, if they listen, they send that send that picture to our send Instagram. Yeah, Adult yeah. Baby Show on I Instagram. Yeah, yeah, whoever so has it, I want to put it up. It. There's a amazing. bounty out for it. There is. <laughs> we'll give you 100 quarters. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be recognized. Or have yeah, in groupies. one respect, were you like, <laughs> I'm getting recognized for like something I'm doing that's awesome. Yeah. I know it's like, well, now I'm a Chili's, but that is still really cool just to have. Yeah, it was it was amazing. Well, that's what I, that's what the weirdest thing about it was. It was you know, you there's a part that's like I was so excited, but mm. then I and I was I was like flattered and I couldn't believe it. And then I it, reality hit and it's like I'm I'm in a fuck I'm serving tables at Chili's. Right. <laughs> you know, and like I I mean, I guess it's that's kind of like arrogant. Or like, you know, no, I get that. That's normal. I feel like that's human nature. People, it's a normal to feel that way. That's and quite an adjustment to me. Yeah, overnight. I was just yeah, gonna is, say you're yeah. with Snoop Dogg, Bieber, <laughs> and who's the other one? Eddie Murphy or yeah. some <laughs> shit like that. And just fucking hey, Lou Vecchio. <laughs> hey, you're like oh fuck, what's up? What's up, Eddie Murphy? And then like. The next day, you're bringing somebody fucking. You get yelled at because the explosion. steaks like not cooked the way they asked oh, for. Yeah, you get some <laughs> like, bitch manager yelling at yeah. you. French uh, fries excuse me, stout. I asked for this medium rare and it's well done. And you're like, bitch, I played drums last night at Madison <laughs> Square fucking Garden. Did you? I mean, you're a very nice guy, but did you ever have those moments inside where you're like, you're 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 just. Somebody's saying, I don't know, like that. They're yeah. like, you're too good for this <laughs> place. Uh, back. Uh, and you're like, do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that must come across. Like, maybe you don't say it, but inside. Inside. Because I feel it yeah, for there, you. There's sometimes inside, you know, where you, just when you run into, like, assholes, you know, mm-hmm. like, people that even in, in, you know, in today's world, like, just like right now, like, you know, there's sometimes where I want to be like, I fucking I'm in a touring rock and roll band. Right? Are you, I, are you talking about when you look at Chick? Like when he talks? <laughs> no. How dare you talk to me it. this way, Chick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I. You know that's the thing too. It's like I I never ever you know because that comes up a lot in Brooklyn. You know what? Do, oh, what do you do? I'm a musician, right? And never all yeah, instantly everyone every yeah everyone is and for the most part people when you say that they think you know you're you're playing in a jazz house mm-hmm. or whatever it is and I'm never the person to be like. No, I'm in like a, you know, like a real band that this is my job. Like I don't do anything else. Everyone around me, my friends are like, you know, why the fuck don't you just tell them what you do? And I'm like, cause I, to me, I feel like I, it's just too much of a, I, I feel like it's, I don't know. I just feel like it's a dickhead thing to be like, do you like, I'm in, I'm a fucking sign rock and roll. You know, I play in a band, yeah. you know, cause I don't even look at myself like that. Right. Like when you said like made, like made it, I'm living in a fucking two bedroom apartment in Brooklyn. Like if I made it to me, yachts spilling champagne on myself like you know yeah, on a white stu- you yeah. know so cell but, phone rings you pick it up you're like oh hold on guys it's diddy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey what's up p dits yeah, <laughs> like, yeah my, my, my yacht next to your yacht we'll fucking tie the yachts together we'll have a little yacht party all right <laughs> all right cool we're going <laughs> but yeah man i mean you know it's i'm just it's and i know this is a very you know cliche thing to say i'm just very lucky and happy that my job is I get to do what I love for a yeah. living. Yeah, you that's, know, all, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's also a very humble way to look at it because it wouldn't make you a dick to say that because you'd just essentially be telling the truth. You're not yeah. trying to inflate your own ego. You're not trying to like boast it up or you'd just be saying that's what I really do. The person on the other end a lot of people would take it that exactly. way. Yeah. I feel like yep. the majority. Pe- oh, oh, you didn't. Oh, a real bad. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. Sorry, I asked. <laughs> right. exactly. It's just like yeah. you know, it's human nature because people get jealous. Mm. People that ignites emotions in people. Yeah. Right, chick. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I can't stop looking at his eye sweat. I f- <laughs> I've never his seen. I've never up. seen so much eye sweat in my life. 
<laughs> All right, bro. You know what? What? I'm fat. I'm out of shape. I'm sweating in here. It's a little hot. Okay. All right. Is it Lou? Yeah. Is it Lou? I am. Is he, Lou's making he, me nervous. He's making me sweat. Jesus Christ, Lou. Is it his uh, so goddamn hat. sexy? Yeah. Is it his hat? Is it? Yeah. His, is it you his know what's funny? Hat? I was going to ask him before. I said it must be great to be able to pull that hat off because I've always wanted to wear a hat like that, and I just don't think I can do it. Dude, you can do I it. Feel like I'm, I'm going to try it. I think. Do it, man. Yeah. I'd like to see a hat like that on you. I could see it work. I would ask him to put it on, but I'm sweating profusely. Yeah. yeah. Don't. Be you're going to ruin it. <laughs> ruin it. <laughs> I don't want to take my hat off and show you guys what's under here right now. I feel it dripping and it's just stopping. Me. Lou's done sets of the garden, hour-long sets where he hasn't sweat this much. And you're just it's pouring out of you. Uh, yeah, he, can you stop he's, staring he's, at me? I'm just no, getting no, no, Everybody now. look at Chick. No. Look at him. He's clamming up. He's uh, <laughs> he's sweating from the top of his cheekbones. That's where the <laughs> little is. that's where the little dots of sweat of the condensation are starting to build up. <laughs> I'm trying not to take anything off. And just this little champagne down, bubbles keep... coming out of him. <laughs> Oh, it might be the champagne that's making me sweat. It might maybe. be. Yeah. Oh, it might be the alcohol. I found something that will help me then, maybe. Yeah. I just oh, need yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I can do this more often. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweat it out. out. Wait, come closer to the mic because we can't see you enough on the camera. We know. Well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought you wanted to get a look. I mean, just in general, sit up so, so oh, we okay. can see you on YouTube. Yeah, that's much there better. There you are. There we go. Now we can see his glasses and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I just, there's a big fog in like the corner. <laughs> Anyway, so that's the uh, chili story. What a great story. That's fantastic. Yeah. That, that is fantastic. Pretty cool. Uh, <sighs> you know what I want to mention really quick? That uh, you recently got engaged. Yes. Right? Yes. 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 That's, that's awesome. How long were you guys together? Uh, we've been together seven years in August. So in what, August, what happened first? New politics or the girlfriend slash soon to be uh, wife? New politics was like I was about a year into new politics. And uh, I met Emily... Like right on the cusp of um, of us really taking off and like starting nice. to travel, which I think actually is the only reason why the relationship worked because yeah. she was kind of like molded into the situation before it actually happened. Because every other relationship I was in f fucking tanked because it's hard, man. It's hard. Like when yeah. you're on the road, you're working, and it takes a special person to like to deal with that shit. And yeah. you know, and and Emily, she's she's great. She's awesome. Well, it's good uh, to hear, man. Congratulations. So she, thank you. She well, doesn't come on tour with you. You go and, yeah. and she's there. I mean, uh, it does take a special kind of person. I see a lot of jealous, a lot of jealousy. Yeah. You're on the road. You're getting attention, attention from girls. Right. Woo! And so, now, I, I mean, you can't hide. You know, everything's on the, you yeah. know, on the internet right. now. Oh, so, yeah. you know, everything is seen. Everything is heard. You know, whatever. So it's it's uh it's hard. You know, but she's great. She handles it really well. She's. Also, too, the, the, the balance is she's, like, in the real world. She works in finance in New York. Like, she's got nothing to do with right. the entertainment industry. And uh, I don't know why the hell she decided to, you know, start dating a tattooed drummer from Long Island. Like, <laughs> That's exactly why. Well, yeah, I, tattooed I, drummer I, I, from yeah, Long yeah. Island. I can think of a whole <laughs> list of reasons. <laughs> I'm sweating sitting Jesus right next Christ. to you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, come, this is coming from another tattooed drummer from Long Island. Yeah, yeah. I'm a tattooed Tattoo drummer from Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like no girl's dream ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a tattooed drummer from Long Island. Nah. Who's, who's you, humble? You can get either one. <laughs> yes. How about, uh, do you have anybody that works in sanitation? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> who's next? Who's next? <laughs> like, oh, God. How about an accountant? They're nice. They're cool. Yeah. They're quiet. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> so you didn't meet her, I'm going to guess, or did you meet her through the band at all, or how did you guys meet? No, we met... Uh, randomly at a another cliche thing we were i was just out one night at a bar at a club and uh i was with uh you guys know jimmy jimmy coleman and steve oh, papa oh, nice. yeah. Yeah. shout out to yeah. jimmy c and yeah. steve papa yeah yeah all farmingdale alumni yeah matt yeah. matt charms farmingdale yeah 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 uh, I still they were break dudes. dance didn't you guys do break yeah, dance yeah, yeah, yeah. break dance speaker wait a minute soren break dances he know that you were in a break dance crew da david break dances the so no, david yeah uh, right. he did and i tried Boyd, to be, i tried david to be Boyd. a real asshole one day thinking when what? i first joined when i first joined the band i was uh, like dude i can fucking throw windmills man like i'm in the fucking <laughs> band, you know and I, you know, I, I, I showed him like, showed him what I could do, and then he, like, you know, he was like real humble. Like, he was like, "All right, cool, whatever." And he just, we were in a bowling alley, dude, and he fucking threw some shit, and I was like, 
I have a video of me of like videoing him, and you hear yeah. me in the background just go, shit. Like, <laughs> like, I just got shut down. You just got served. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's like fucking Magic Mike shit. Like. <laughs> Oh man, that is funny. That's awesome. Yeah, it was, it was cool. But yeah, all the, all those dudes were there. We were at a club called um, Juliet. <laughs> that's Juliet. Now, that doesn't exist anymore because I think it, too many stabbings have happened <laughs> since. Yeah, that's usually not a good uh, yeah, sign to that, keep yeah. opening. No. Yeah. We were there and and uh, you know we met and hung out and that was that was really it. And then from there, it just you know the natural progression of things. But I, it's weird because none of, neither of us were looking for anything, and it's I just got out of a of a long term relationship at that point and. Really wasn't looking for shit, and it just, you know. That's when it happens. Get yeah. back on the horn. That was it. Yeah. And here we are. I'm getting I'm the most adult thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Getting was getting <laughs> engaged. I can't even. Believe, I still can't believe I planned that shit out the way. The way how'd you do it? Do you, I, I don't. I don't know. Was it like? It's a, like so, like the actual like when the, I proposed. Yeah. Uh, I, I made. This is gonna sound like real fucking mushy. I'm sorry. Guys. That's all right. I no, like, this is good. This I is, like this, this stuff. This story That's why is I asked. for the lady. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies. Ladies. Because, and me, because I like this stuff. <laughs> Ladies Hopefully love I don't sweat more after girls. this. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. After this story, I'm going to need a mop. <laughs> <laughs> for both of us. <laughs> uh, Ladies yeah. love a big extravagant proposal. Yeah. So you know? what'd you do? What'd you do? Um, I t- well, Emily, she's not, she doesn't like, she's like not a spotlight girl. Like she doesn't, you know, she told me, it's like, if you, if you propose to me on stage yeah. and that was like, uh, she would hate no. it. I'll say no. Yeah. Like, I'll punch yeah. you in the dick and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so, Great viral video. That yeah, yeah, been, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I made this, uh, you know, I bought the ring and I bought it like three days before. Cause I knew that I'm the kind of person, like if I sat on that, like for months, I'd be like, well, I could sell this. I could, get, I could do a million things. And yeah. It's just like, what, what am I doing? You know. So I bought it, and I just like chicken out. So I bought it really quick, and I went to on my way home from the from the uh, the diamond place. I went to Michael's in the city, and I like bought all this shit to make a book. And I can like I made like a, almost like a scrapbook. And, right. Yeah. Uh, and in the book, like I even like made the binding and everything. I don't, again, I don't know. I went to YouTube University for like two days, so I do this. And uh, and I just wrote like things in, inside of the book and like memories and you know meaningful things. And and I, ha- I had and this was just in our apartment because I we were I was supposed to do this at like this nice place outside. Uh, but it was freezing that day. It was freezing cold, and then Emily hates the cold, and so do I. So do most people. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not gonna like, you know, propose to her and, and, fr- I, and fucking the tundra, you know, yeah. whatever. Um, <laughs> the so, Russian tundra. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. <laughs> yeah, montage there. <laughs> um, so yeah, in, in, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's uh, some montage music. That's good montage music. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, 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 that was good montage but music. It was good. Lewis proposing. <laughs> <laughs> 680s <laughs> right there. <laughs> Drum fill. Drum fill. Uh, like, uh, uh, <laughs> get approval. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I did the book and, um, you know, I set up my a GoPro in my living room and, uh, I sent her out for Dunkin' Donuts. I was like, I, I don't know how the hell, like, the way, I was like, how do I get her out of the house? Yeah. You know, for the apartment for, for, because I, you know, I did like the rose petals and yeah. bottle of yeah. champagne and, and everything. Hopeless and, uh, romantic. Yeah, it was nice. And there's nothing hopeless yeah, about it. Hopeless Jesus about. is no, fiance now. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you're, the, you're the hopeless romantic. I'm the hopeless romantic. <laughs> you're not even romantic. You're just hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're ruining the story. So she comes story. back from Dunkin' Donuts, she just comes, rose petals. Rose she petals. Must, she melted like butter. Yeah, she, she, well, at first she was, it was, yeah, like butter. <laughs> like parquet. <laughs> Bees melting like butter right now. I, you see him looking into your eyes? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah, she knew something was up. It was close to Valentine's Day, too. So she was, I think she was like, all right, is this just like a Valentine's Day thing? Um, so I proposed, she, I made her read the book. And at the end of the book, like, I made her read it out loud so that on camera you can hear it. And at the end of the book, it says, you know, I think I summed it up basically with now turn around and say yes or whatever. And I was, you know, I did the whole knee thing, took the ring out. She said yes. But then the real surprise was I had her family. Her family's from Chicago. Oh. So I convinced her that uh, I only told like our friends, like right. a few of our friends, and we were going to go have dinner at my 
Charms Matt has a restaurant in the city that he uh, it's you know so we go there a lot and we you know I was like my friends and your friends are gonna be there we're just gonna have a quiet dinner and then whatever we'll tell everyone after mm -hmm. she walked into a full uh, uh, surprise party with her family from Chicago my family and like a whole thing she had no idea Ooh. and they were uh, they were there so it was great you did good wow. yeah that's was, the way to do it it was cool it was a good experience man I, I, you know it's one of those things too where you're like you're thinking about it and I'm like because uh, you know, everyone who I know who's engaged like dude I promise you you're gonna cry you're gonna cry and I was like, why would I cry? I'm just instantly bawling. I was like, yeah. 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 Like, I'm about a, to cry right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one emotional story. Yeah, here yeah. we go. That's why I brought the, you know, the champagne. <laughs> yeah. Wow, good for That's you. That's a good one. Well, we're happy. You're happy. And uh, we Thank wish you guys. nothing but the best, man. Thank yeah. you, guys. You Thank deserve you. it. Now, you said you were videotaping it. Uh, yeah. Did she know you were videotaping it, or was it a secret camera type situation? She, I, I tried to hide it. it was like a, It's a GoPro, so yeah. I tried to hide it, but... The fucking thing has that like red blinking light on it. <laughs> She's yeah. like, so, why are you fucking recording this? Yeah, she says that like two times in the video. I'm like, I'm not. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> I don't even know why. Yeah. I didn't realize like, it was on. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, you know what's nice. Funny? <laughs> nice. That's how we segue around. <laughs> nice. Let's talk about the next thing. <laughs> Let me look in my notes. Well, <laughs> I guess we're done with that story. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me rustle through my notepad really quick. What do we got next? I think we got about 10 minutes left in this episode. Also, are you going to stick around for the next episode? We do two in a row here. Yeah, if you guys, Just if a, you guys want me. This, is the, Lou, this is the Lou yeah. episode. <laughs> yeah. So that means for anyone listening, next week's episode, Lou's just going to be a guest host hanging out, talking awesome. about shit with us. I love it. Uh, you get to hear more of uh, B's fantastic stories and Chick's fantastic stories. <laughs> Uh oh. I'm excited. Oh, I'm boy. really excited. Actually. I already know we have something to get into. Actually, I got a story really quick that I wanted to mention. Uh, f first of all, you mentioned uh, your friend Charms. And yeah. I, uh, uh, I, I, I was friends with Charms in high school. I haven't seen him in forever. Yeah. Yep. But uh, he asked me, because I do art, like graffiti and like dra drawing and stuff. Yeah. And in high school, he asked me and my friend Dave to like draw it in his room. <laughs> do you really? know about this? Yeah, at all? I do. Oh my and, God. Like, we came over there and. Like, I would draw notebooks and stuff, but I always had this complex where if I was asked to draw something for someone, I'd, like, I'd never finish it. And I'd, like, panic and be like, I'm no good. Yeah. I'm awful. I'm terrible. Why do they even ask me to do this? I, I, you know, I can't do it. So we went over there and started drawing all over his bedroom walls. <laughs> and, like, I wrote charms behind Dude, I his bed. I remember this so Like, good. with so a good. pencil and, like, outlined it. Never came back. <laughs> Never came back. <laughs> really? Never. Dave Leibel. I read Dave, like, Leibel. he was spray painting on the wall, like, his tag, and we were, like, graffitied it up. We're like, yeah, yeah, we're going to... That was it. <laughs> I left it. You know, it was a typical story in my life, especially in high school. I was such a flaky fucking yeah. bastard. And I just got like this this thing. So uh, if, he, if he's listening, I'm sorry for ruining your wall in high school. Seems like he's doing well. He's got a nice restaurant. Things Actually, are going good for him. Yeah, he's, he's got a restaurant. He's moved yeah, past yeah. it. Yeah, he's, he's a head chef and uh, own, like third owner I don't know, of this restaurant called Ichabod's in the city. Oh, nice. awesome, dude. Yeah. Great. So good. He's doing good. I, hey. think the, I think the tag helped him out a lot. Yeah, good. <laughs> I, you know, if you need anyone to paint the inside of your restaurant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't the first time I've done that. There were like two other people that asked me to paint on their walls and do murals, yeah. and I abandoned them within like the first, <laughs> after like laying down the first layer thing. What the hell? It's, about. it's a mental shit. complex. I, I look at it and I think it's, it's not, not good. good. It looks bad. It's awful. So I'm you just, just stop. <laughs> I run. I run from my problems, chick. Yeah. You know what I, I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> so I never went back. I heard he got somebody to come and actually do something legit and like yeah, finish I, yeah. it. I, so I remember. I totally I remember bad. that. I, I remember like ignored that. him, I think, for like a few weeks after <laughs> that. I was like embarrassed. Like, <laughs> like oh, yeah, God, right. I ruined this kid's fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's amazing. That's yeah, incredible. I have mental issues. Sounds something that, like I would do something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like that's 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 crazy. Do you have a therapist too? <laughs> no, but I thought about it a lot. Yeah, I I go. It's really helping, and I'm going to talk about this next week. Oh, okay, because that's just really drudged it up on me. That's yeah. drudged something up. Uh, <laughs> no, but <laughs> honestly, is uh, next next episode going to be a therapy session? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, I have another story to tell. So, uh, as some people know that listen, is that uh, I was in a band and. and and when I was in my 20s and uh, so I saw Lou at a couple of things a couple of like events um, 
I think you were in a band called Raposo back then, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris Raposo. Was, Greg, was Greg, Greg Raposo. Raposo was, yeah. It was the guy's last name, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I went to go play a battle of the bands at some Irish bar, uh, Shamrocks or some shit. That's, okay. That's barely. You were there. Yeah, you guys, I remember this. You yeah. guys played. Um, you was it double? Were you? It, what band was it? Uh, was, I think it was Common Ground. I was in a band, Common Ground, Doubleheader, SHK. We, you know how I am. You guys These changed. guys know. <laughs> I, yeah. I, again, I'm like, I need to change shit all the time. Like, right. Every year we changed our band name, the style of music we played. <laughs> yeah. We wrote all new songs. We trashed everything we did. Because in my head, I was like, no, this shit's no good anymore. <laughs> After it's every terrible, episode, I'm awful. This is so bad. <laughs> After every episode, he wants to scrap it. He's like, we got to get rid of this. We're gonna start over. We got to. We're gonna start over. <laughs> Right. I do mental issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's either leaving things in the middle of it or trying to start over. <laughs> right. Actually, some people told me close friends of mine said, "Oh, you're doing a podcast." And, he go, and he's after like the fourth week, he goes, "I can't believe you're still doing that." He goes, "I could have sworn but after the third week you would have just quit yeah. and stopped doing it." Because <laughs> I go like, "I would have bet my money on that." Hour. Yeah. Right. I go 160, and then I just yeah, I'm he like, burns himself out. out. Yeah. Then I get a complex. I, 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 I can't do this. I'm yeah. no good. This is awful. So uh, anyway, yeah, we've done that with the podcast multiple times. So I've many said, times. B, do you think we should just change the name, change the pictures, yeah. put pictures of ourselves, get rid of these creepy avatars, change this weird music with that? <laughs> you even did it in the beginning of the episode. Yeah. If, you, he, if you go back to the beginning of the episode, he's like, damn baby crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we're all. That's the time when me and B come in to be like, dude, we're doing all right. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. I need you Calm guys down. to purr, pet yeah. me, stroke me, me, stroke me. I think it's great. I, Massage I me. <laughs> Massage, <laughs> Massage my butt. Yeah. What? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Anyways, back to the battle of the bands. Uh, <laughs> So I go to play this battle. Now we knew the guys that were setting up the battle of the bands. I think they were the guys that ran uh, the studio we rented from. And they knew that we would, we were good at drawing people, especially on long Island. We had a pretty decent crowd that we would draw. And so they, they told us we were playing at a certain time, but then they kept pushing us back, pushing us back. And I told Lou, uh, I saw you guys play. And I said, Lou, we're playing later too. And he's like, Oh, cool, man. He's like, you know, I'll hang out and watch you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, awesome. And like, yeah, you guys are up next. You guys are up next. They never put us on. They put us on dead last. Uh, All right. The, the guy was like fucking with us. Everybody who would come to see us had left at this point. The place was completely <laughs> yeah. empty. It must have been like 3 a.m. They're basically <laughs> sweeping the floors to get ready what to the lock the doors. I was shit face drunk <laughs> by then. <laughs> and I think Lou was like the only person that actually I stayed. This night. He I was like that. there. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I, we got done playing and I came off and it was awful, man. I couldn't oh. play the guitar. I couldn't <laughs> sing. I was singing at this point. I'm no like really yeah. good singer. Definitely so it was like, I always thought you had a good voice. Oh, you do. You, you got a better yeah. voice than you think. It's okay. It's good for like. For what know, it is though. It's not like you're trying stuff. to be a pop singer. <laughs> Baby. That's my pop singer voice. Yeah, just we're gonna sing. Me and Lou are gonna sing a little bit. Lou, can you sing? Give us a little no, sing. Not do at you all. Play any other instruments or just I suck? I can't sing at all. Do you uh, I do. I dabble. I dabble in um with like Logic, like uh programming okay. and stuff like that. But I don't really play um. Like, you know, I, I just play drums. They're a drummer? Hey, you I'm You're the drummer. drummer guy. Yeah, I'm the drummer guy. There's a lot of drummer. There's, like, jokes. Like, uh, from being in a band, oh, I know God, there's, yeah. like, drummer jokes. Like, uh, well, do you know what I'm talking about? I mean, about? I've... I, I, I get shit on so much. <laughs> they can't play as a, music. As a drummer. Yeah, oh, we got like, a lot of like. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> Chick, you're the twins over here. <laughs> Chick, I'm the drummer in here. Yeah, he's the drummer of this show. That night. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yep. Chick, you can't do anything. Just sit there and keep the fucking beat. <laughs> oh, God. So anyway, the Lou was there, and I got off, off the little fucking stage, and like they were turning the lights on and basically kicking everyone out. And he's like, "Man, you guys are awesome." <laughs> I'm like, "Why are you so fucking nice, dude?" <laughs> you should have left like two hours ago with all the friends that came to see us. We're like, "Dude, you're going at what time? We're fucking out of here." And he hung out oh. and watched. Oh hell yeah, man! I'm always supporting. Come I know. On. Oh, that's great. It was fucking hilarious, but it just goes to show, man. You're fucking when it comes to music. Music. You're like hanging out. You're in the scene. Yeah, and I love you, it. You stuck around. Yeah, and you're still an, doing it. I'm still doing it. I love it. I I go to I go to shows all the time in the city in Brooklyn. I miss the the Long Island like 
fucking scene that was here for a little while you know like <laughs> Like I'm, I'm staring at that flyer right now, like double header all grown up, like that. Yeah. When that shit was happening, man, that was that was cool. I remember wanting to be a part of that movement that was happening, and it was like it was a good. Uh, it was good a time. good thing. Yeah. You know, you guys played a lot, like what was that bar? What's that? Is it still? I don't even know. The Crazy Donkey. Crazy Mr. Donkey. Beeries. Mr. Beeries. Mr. Beeries. And Mr. Beeries. That was a sick scene too. Beeries right? is like, just like a dive bar that <laughs> yeah. had a great, yeah. great sound yeah. system. Yeah. Was like, and it wasn't in the basement. No, it was up top. Right? That was upstairs. It, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Upstairs. There was like nowhere to fucking move. It wasn't. Yeah. When and you would go place, to a show, there would be that like little this. corner yeah. stage, and uh, they would pack everybody in there. Those that was fun. Yeah, it was really humid in there. It was like the, the inside of Chick's <laughs> sunglasses. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was like the inside of Chick's glasses in that place. It just felt like a fog on your yep. face while you're so much body. Fun. It was very thick in there. It was a lot of fun yeah. there. Yeah. I'm just trying to change. Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of fun there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those those were fucking uh, those were fun times, and we you know we always planned on tr trying to go on tour and stuff. But again, it never happened. Probably uh, there was a lot of reasons why we never actually toured. Uh, I don't know what, what they were. I don't know. <laughs> I think my Maybe. Dr my drinking and drug use had a lot to do with it. <laughs> the drinking and the drugging. Because, drinking you know, and drugging. You, you get high and drunk, and you're just like, yeah, man. We're gonna fucking let's go. Let's get on tour. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Let's and then we right were, now. Right now, we'll go. And we had a uh, Buckley, our bass player. Like he like bought a, a, an RV, like a, a thing for oh, us to yeah, like go out and wow. do it. Yes. Yeah, it was called the Falcon. It was the name the of it. Falcon. It was a converted van, and it was the, meant for road tripping. And we did it once. We, we took it down to North Carolina just to try it out. And, like we played a show down there for like the bartender and the guy that set it up because <laughs> the other bands that were supposed to play that were going to draw they, they didn't show up oh, man. Uh. they gave us seven dollars at the end of the night <laughs> we bought an alcoholic drink and split it between the three of us <laughs> oh, man. Shit. then we blew our transmission on the way up and wound up in virginia for a week <laughs> we wow. lived out of the fucking van yeah that was my touring life summed that's up a, yeah. in the one story. That's, that's, so that's amazing. Just uh, <laughs> you know, I never that heard is, that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's an experience, right? Never, there. never quite got to to the level losing. <laughs> 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 oh, this is this is turning into a sad podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's awesome to see you know people that we grew up with doing, yeah. doing uh, this yeah. kind of stuff. You might be the most famous person from Farmingdale. <laughs> uh, oh no, man, come on. Think, do you know anybody else from Farmingdale that does anything? Uh, <laughs> Nick, Mar no, Nick Markakis, no, but he who? Nick Markakis, <laughs> the Baltimore plays player. baseball player. He lived in Farmerdale for like a week, seven years. <laughs> <laughs> a a week. Home, homegrown talent, homegrown talent. And then he moved to the southern uh, south. Yeah, so, <laughs> no, you might you might be uh, the biggest guy to come out of Farmerdale. I would say. I'm I'm assuming that's crazy. That's that's insane. have you never I, thought about that? I never. I honestly, man, I have never thought about that. No, so much more humble than I would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Chick There's thinks a of these questions. Yeah. There's because a reason you're where you are, and, <laughs> and I'm where I am. Yeah, That's because yeah. Chick, Chick takes a shit he's excited about, and he wants to yeah. brag about it. And everybody, like, everybody's like, "Get away from me!" Or, yeah, oh, get away God. from me! You suck. So what's funny is uh, Chick wanted to ask you a bunch of questions before the show. This just reminded me, uh, and Chick sent out a text, a group text between us. No, he texted Lou. He sent us the screenshot. Uh, and he says, we have questions for you, but what I want, the first question he wants to know is, what can't we talk about? What's <laughs> off limits? <laughs> now, this isn't the first time. Chick asks every guest we have on here, the first thing he wants to know is, what can't we talk about? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what are you going to, what do you plan on, what were you going to ask Lou? I plan on asking anything. What were you going to ask just, him? I want to so know funny. before I go into a situation what not to approach. So like, I don't <laughs> like what you ever uh, you ever fucking murder somebody? <laughs> you ever stab somebody? I don't know where my mind goes. That's, That's why I just he like can't to know. He can't trust himself. I don't so trust myself, so I want to know what's off limits right. right off the bat if they have any. I, I get the feeling it's because all you want to do is ask dirty sex questions. Because <laughs> That's yeah. partially it. There's a lot of sick <laughs> questions I would probably like to ask Lou, but <laughs> we'll keep that for off the air. <laughs> oh god, I love that. All right, well maybe in between episodes or. 
he's like, gonna stick around for the next one. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got a, I've got a sensor button on here. Beep. <laughs> yeah. like, just beep it out. And like I told him before, I said, "Don't worry. If I do anything, we can always edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can see how far we can push the limits. Yes. Yeah. Because there's a, there's a lot of stuff we didn't get to on this episode. And I think we're cl- coming up to a close. I think we are. We're we could just up to do a part, a, a, a part B. Part two? Part two. Part two. Let's do part, part, two. part B. Part B. <laughs> is there ever... <laughs> you watch a, t- a TV or listen to a show. <laughs> is it ever... I said that, I yeah. thought of that. I'm like, what the fuck am I talking about? Part B. Part B of last week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever see Back to the Future Part C? <laughs> they go back to the Wild Wild West. It's pretty cool. I like B, though. <laughs> It was a trilogy of letters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I think uh, let's wrap this one up. We're going to have Lou back for next week's episode. So if you guys enjoyed this one, stick around. Uh, Do you want to plug anything? Uh, yeah, you, gotta, uh, you guys are on tour right yeah, now, right? You guys have websites yeah, and stuff. Uh, they sure. got a tour going on right now. What we're, is it? we're actually, we're, we just finished the summer tour with uh, Sublime with Rome. You were saying that? Yeah. We just finished that tour. Um, we're about to go back out uh, November I don't know the exact date, but we go back out in November, uh, headline run, small, quick, three-week thing, and then we have a new record coming out. Oh, uh, nice. The top of next year. Nice. Newpoliticsrock.dk, and everything else on Instagram and all that stuff is all the same. So this is the first of your promotion on the new record is on our show? It's on the show. Nice. Yeah. 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 All right. And like Chick said, we're going to open up doors for you yeah. internationally. <laughs> I got you, like, buddy. Like, you don't I got even you. know. So you, you're yeah. welcome. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. There's a bar in Wanta that... <laughs> I play darts there every Tuesday night. <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys, everybody. We'll see you next week. Well, thanks for listening. Come Woo, back next glad week. Glad to be back, everybody. Hey, it was good to hang out with you guys this Thank week. you yes. for coming, Lou. Everybody, we all Thank love you. Thank you guys you. for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>